in this lecture we discuss one of the most important topic of strength of materials that is a point of contra fluxion from this topic guys the questions are asked multiple number of times in gate esc and various competitive exams like awe isro and bark so one of the most important topics from exam point of view also guys okay to understand this topic in a crystal clear manner we have to question ourselves with three questions first one is what is mean by point of contra fluxion second one is why we have to find out the point of contra fluxion and its significance and third one is how to find out poc if you can answer these three questions i'm telling guys you can able to answer any question from any competitive exams this is one of the most important topic if you can answer these three questions you can answer any question in any competitive exams let's see we start with the first question what is mean by point of contra fluxion let's see guys assume i have a beam because of different types of loading the beam is bending like this if you observe guys what is happening one part of the beam is under sagging another part of the beam is under hogging point of contra fluxion means uh, this is the point at which the curvature of the beam changes from sagging to hogging or hogging to sagging this point i can call it as a point of contra fluxion let's see guys assume i have a beam here the beam is subjected to continuous load or i can say is completely udl so what happens here because of the application of the load assume the beam is deflecting like this if you observe guys only till this the beam is under sagging and again the beam is under hogging again it is under sagging actually so point of contra fluxion means this is the point at which the curvature changes from sagging to hogging or hogging to sagging now tell me guys how many pocs are there in this beam two one is here second one is here so i can define poc like this point of contra fluxion means the assume k is the curvature guys so we can define that point of contra fluxion means uh, it is the point at which the curvature changing from the curvature changing from sagging to sagging to hogging or hogging to sagging sagging to hogging or hogging to sagging at the same time i can define the point of contra fluxion in another interesting manner what is that if you look at here guys whenever beam is under sagging what is happening for the bending moment it is a positive bending moment whenever beam is under ha hogging what is happening for the bending moment it is the negative bending moment again here beam is under sagging again bending moment is positive so i can define the point of contra fluxion means uh, this is the point at which the bending moment changes from positive to negative or negative to positive these two points i can call it as a p o c again let us let us say guys assume bending moment the bending moment is changing from positive to negative are negative to positive the point between these two i can call it as a p o c this is mean by point of contra fluxion second question is uh, what is its significance let us understand guys it helps you to identify where to reinforce it helps you to identify where to where to reinforce the beam reinforce the beam and where not to reinforce the beam first we can ask ourselves 
Why we have to reinforce, guys? Assume I have a beam like this. I have a beam subjected to point load. So what is happening guys? The beam is deflecting like this. As the beam is deflecting like this, if you observe guys, what is happening in the same manner? The beam is just deflecting like this. If the beam is deflecting like this, what is happening guys? The top fibers are under compression, bottom fibers are under tension. The top fibers are under compression the bottom fibers are under tension okay this is a typical type of beam subjected to point load assume the same beam i am making with a concrete so concrete you know guys concrete is strong in what strong in compression and it is weak in what tension it is weak in tension so what is going to happen where this beam will fail wherever your your fiber of the beam subjected to tension if you observe guys uh, completely bottom fiber is under tension this is the place where your beam is going to be fail if you don't reinforce it actually that is the reason we always reinforce the concrete with a steel okay why because guys why steel because uh, steel is a uh, strong in tension steel is strong in tension now tell me guys which place i have to replace uh, i have to reinforce actually uh, near to the top fiber near to the bottom fiber guys it is uh, near to the bottom fiber why because uh, on top fiber it is already under compression your concrete is strong in compression at bottom fiber your concrete is uh, weak in tension that's why we have to reinforce with a steel which is strong in tension so your beam is completely safe let us observe guys assume i have a continuous beam then where to reinforce where not to reinforce uh, this is the place uh, your poc helps you because you know that guys uh, at poc the curvature changing from sagging to hogging if you observe guys this is the place uh, what is happening exactly your curvature is changing from sagging to hogging now tell me this is the place your beam is under tension and this is the place again beam is under tension and this is the place again your beam is under tension so you have to reinforce at three places how i am reinforcing guys if you observe here carefully look at here sir everybody this is i can able to bend it here actually sir again reinforcing here again bending down again reinforcing like this this is uh, how you reinforce the beam i can say this is the steel bars we used to reinforce with what guys uh, steel bar that's why you might have seen in the construction sites that uh, the steel rods are bending according to the curvature of the beam to give the proper reinforcement okay guys we done with uh, what is poc and we done with uh, what is the significance what is the significance guys uh, just to reinforce correctly in a beam where to reinforce and where not to reinforce uh, this answer i can able to get it easily from poc next third one is uh, how to find out the point of contraflexion look at here everybody guys because uh, there is a proper relation between the curvature to the bending moment uh, but i can find out the bending moment very very easily assume guys i have a beam i have a beam the beam is having a two three points assume point a point b and point c suppose if point a is at point a if bending moment at a is positive at a is positive and at b 
if bending moment at MB is positive at C, if bending moment at C is negative, then tell me guys, between what points you should get the point of counterflexure? Is it possible to have the point of counterflexure between A and B? The answer is no. Why? Because at A it is positive, at B also positive. So there is the scope of point of counterflexure between A and B. But if you see be between B and C, B it is positive, C it is negative. So there must be somewhere between B and C, your moment must be equal to zero. So that point I am calling as a point of counterflexure. But how can we find out? Once you identify the two locations, what you can do is, Take the section between B and C. Take a section between B and C by taking a distance of x from the end. Write the bending moment equation between B and C and make it equal to 0. From this, you can find out the location where your POC lies. You can understand this one very easily with a simple problem, guys. Here, the overhang beam is given, subjected to one UDL and one point load. Then he's asking us to find out the point of counterflexure from the point D. Okay. First, we have to solve, we have to find out the support reaction RC. How can we find out, guys? Take moment about A. If you take moment about A equal to how much? Zero. I can simply able to say that uh, about point A, about point A, your clockwise moments must be equal to anti-clockwise moments. Tell me guys, what are the clockwise moments? This 20 will give, because 20 is acting downward, this will try to rotate in the clockwise direction about the point A. With what moment guys? 20 into distance how much guys 4 plus 4 plus 2 10 plus this udl 17.5 guys again this will give you again clockwise how much guys 17.5 into 4 is the force where it is acting at centroid means 2 meters actually again it is giving clockwise moment multiplied by 2. This is the clockwise moment. What is the anti-clockwise moment guys? RC will give you anti-clockwise. So RC into how much guys? 4 plus 4, 8. From this RC equal to how much is coming sir? It is coming as 42.5 Newtons. So I got the value of RC. Now observe, I am finding bending moment at different places. Assume guys, what is the moment at D? I can simply able to say that, assume moment at D equal to how much? Zero. Why? Because force is at the same location and no distance is there. Moment must be equal to zero. What is the moment at C? Moment at C equal to force into distance, 20 into 2, it is coming as minus 20 into 2. Why minus guys tell me? Because this will try to hog the beam. As it try to, this is the hogging actually, this try to hog the beam means definitely it is coming under negative bending moment. The how much is coming guys? Minus 40. Next, M about D. So M about B guys. M about B, how much is coming, moment about B, now tell me how much minus 20 into this distance equal to how much guys, 4 plus 2, 6, next again RC upward plus RC, RC is coming how much guys, 42.5 into 4, it is coming as plus 50. If you observe guys, at C it is coming negative, 
at B it is coming positive. Then where the POC lies, definitely it should be between B and C. So what I have told you guys, take the section between B and C, write the bending moment equation. So I don't care about what is there after B right now. I am taking only between B and C. Assume this point is the B, this point is the C, this point is the D. Here what is there guys? Your point load 20 is there. Again here what is there guys? Your support reaction 42.5 is there. So what I am doing now? I am taking a section between B and C at a distance of X. This is 2. So this distance equal to how much automatically guys? This distance is x minus 2 is this test distance automatically. Now take moment about this point. I can write mx equal to force into distance minus 20 into how much? x next upward force plus 42.5 into how much guys? x minus 2. This is a typical bending moment till x but you know that between b and c at pop at poc what is going to happen guys your bending moment must be equal to zero if you make it zero guys minus 20 into x plus 42.5 into x minus 2 if you make it zero you are getting x equal to 3.78 which means that the at this distance, uh, your POC lies, uh, your curvature of the beam is changing from uh, sagging to hogging or hogging to sagging or bending moment changing from where to where guys, uh, changing from negative to positive. So this is the way to find out the point of contrafluxure.